Lost Boat resurfaces eight years later with a peculiar message. Few people are capable of exploring the open seas on their own, battling monstrous waves, violent weather, and possibly running into pirates. But 16-year-old Abby Sunderland was ready to do all that and more. In 2010, the teenager set sail for a record-breaking epic voyage around the world. She encountered both beauty and disaster, but eight years after it was over, she received a shocking phone call that had her questioning everything. In 2010, 16-year-old Abby Sunderland wanted to achieve something no one else her age had managed. She came from a family of sailors, and her goal was to sail around the world on a solo trip. Her brother especially was a major motivator. Zach Sunderland became the first person under 18 to complete the journey just the year before. Basically, she was surrounded by the right people, but nerves still crept in. Abby dreamed of setting the record her whole life. Even at a young age, she logged hundreds of hours on the water with her mother and father. It was her dad, however, who gave her the toughest training. His lessons were rarely pleasant, but Lawrence Sunderland knew his daughter would inevitably face tough days, and without proper preparation, the mission was doomed. Abby's mother also backed her daughter, but knew dangers were involved. Marion Sunderland said, Could there be a tragedy? Yeah, there could be. But there could be a tragedy on the way home tonight, you know, or driving with her friends in the car. So the planning began. Not only did Abby need to be hyper aware of incoming weather to avoid squalls, but there were pirates roaming the seas and she was in no way prepared to take on a ship of violent criminals. Abby admitted she was definitely nervous about the journey ahead of her, but on January 23, 2010, she boarded her ship called Wild Eyes from Marina del Rey, California, and she was off to the races. Almost immediately, Abby understood the sheer force she was up against. Even though she saw how moody a calm sea could get plenty of times before, taking it on all by her lonesome was a totally different experience. In an interview that took place 101 days into her journey, she admitted her ship was struck by a massive wave that knocked her violently to the ground. Wind was also a huge problem. Howling gusts ripped through one of her sails and water flooded the engine. Abby managed to take care of both problems, but Wild Eyes was succumbing to a brutal beating. Abby, disappointed but also scared, was forced to give up. She punched her emergency beacon and immediately French and Australian search and rescue authorities set sail towards her. Luckily, she had all the equipment she needed in case they couldn't get to her quickly. Her parents wrote to her followers, Abby has a dry suit, survival suit, life raft, and ditch bag with emergency supplies. If she can hang on and keep warm, help will be there as soon as possible. Thirteen tense hours later, rescue teams came upon wild eyes. The boat was bobbing upright in the water, but the rigging was a mess. Abby was taken to a nearby island where she was met with a huge surprise. It was Zack! Her brother flew to Reunion Island to not only commend his sister for her bravery, but also give her some much-needed supplies, like fresh clothes and a hairbrush. Then it was back to California. Although relieved she wasn't at the whim of the ocean, Abby still missed the memorable parts. All those amazing days racing along, surfing down giant swells, sitting on deck watching the sunset. Obviously, Lawrence and Marianne were sorry for their daughter, but more than that, they were relieved she wasn't badly injured. Unfortunately, the same couldn't be said for Wild Eyes, which was abandoned at sea. The ship was so battered that it was left floating in the ocean alone and unmanned. It was a decision rescuers were forced to make, but Abby still missed the vessel. She assumed it would end up in pieces somewhere. However, eight years later, the Sunderland family was contacted by authorities, who told them a tuna spotting aircraft noted a yellow yacht flipped upside down off the coast of Australia's Kangaroo Island. When they towed it in, two words stood out. Wild Eyes was written on the side. It was Abby's ship. An oceanographer named David Griffin actually theorized the ship circumnavigated the globe during those years. So Abby herself may not have traveled the world, but Wild Eyes could have. Abby traveled 12,000 miles before her rescue, which was still an amazing feat.